What is going on everyone, it's Nier again. Today for you, some domination gameplay, playing some Call of Duty Black Ops, got some ground war domination going on here on the map launch. I'm playing with a full squad, or almost a full squad of subscribers and myself, using the Olympia, using that double barrel shotgun, and it's a pretty good gameplay. It's a very good shotgun gameplay, I think you guys are going to enjoy it. And uh, for the whole topic of this video, the whole thing I wanted to discuss with this entire video would be shotgunning in Call of Duty, shotgunning in general, shotgunning in first person shooters, shotgunning in Black Ops 2. I want to talk about shotguns in general because shotguns are just so much fun to use. So I've had this gameplay on my computer for a while and I was kind of saving it until I had a day where, you know, I felt fit to post it, right? Does that make any sense? Like, um, I, a lot of the time I post almost two videos a day, depending on if I'm in a good mood, depending on if I have stuff I want to talk about. And this just seemed like the perfect day to, you know, put out a uh, Black Ops video where I'm using a shotgun. Now I kind of want to discuss shotgunning with you guys in general. So first and foremost, I love shotgunning. I love the entire notion, the entire aspect behind shotgun, the entire mindset that you have to go into using a shotgun. I think it's pretty cool. I love the fact that I am completely 110% giving away any form of medium to long range power to have maximum close range power. Does that make any sense? I love the fact that you're handicapping yourself, right? Does that make any sense? You're handicapping yourself. When you're using a shotgun, it's kind of like, you know what? I'm so good at this game that I can limit myself to I don't even need to be able to kill anyone that's less than five feet away from me. You know, that kind of thing. Like, I love that idea. I love this whole idea behind shotgunning in Call of Duty. Uh, obviously, for those of you who, um, there, there's actually an overwhelming majority of people who are this way, but um, for those for those, for those who are like that, I'm going to explain for you. Shotguns in real life are n no way, in no way function anywhere near how they function in Call of Duty. Okay, shotguns in real life actually have some decent range. Why do you think people hunt with them? Do you think people hunt in real life with shotguns that can only reach five feet away from them? That doesn't work. Do you think you're going to creep up on a deer or you think you're going to go turkey hunting and get within like three feet of that turkey and like shoot him from behind? No, I mean, shotguns actually have range in real life. But think about it. Shotguns are somewhat considered to be a one-shot kill in, and in a lot of cases like almost a two-shot kill right in Call of Duty. Uh, if they were to go ahead and make it so... Uh, you know, <laughs> you have this awesome one-shot powerhouse at medium range that doesn't have a scope and is very easy to manage. Like a sniper, like a sniper rifle, right? Sniper rifle, you know, the whole one-shot, one kill, all luck, no skill, that kind of, <laughs> you know, the whole sniper rifle thing. Um, people consider the whole quick scoping aspect to be overpowered. Well, a lot of people do. I, I understand that a lot of people actually enjoy sniping and they don't consider it overpowered. They just enjoy quick scoping. I think it's entertaining. I think it's cool. I think it's a fun aspect of Call of Duty. Well, the reason people are you know don't care for quick scoping as much is because well, a lot of people don't care for quick scoping as much is because you know at any range you can almost get a one shot kill. But it takes a degree of skill, right? It takes a degree of skill because you're using a scope. You know, you have to pull up the scope. You have to drag the rifle on on target. You know, it's pretty. It's it's difficult uh, in most cases anyway. And with a shotgun, can you imagine if a shotgun was a one-shot kill at sniper ranges? With how e okay, look how easy this is to go around. Oh boy, the triple you get in the chopper. It would be ridiculous. So how Call of Duty balances shotguns at, compared to real life is they kind of just they they take the range down. It's just kind of how Call of Duty does it. Uh, obviously, Call of Duty's it's not a real war simulator. Does that make any sense? It's not you know none that these guns don't function the same way they do in real life. Well, a lot of them anyway. Shotguns they definitely they buff down the range. Uh, basically, uh, impeding your ability to take out any targets, you know, from a medium to a longer distance, by giving you just a severe, severe advantage when you're, you know, close range, close range combat. And that's what I like about shotgunning. I think shotgunning is fun because, you know, you're going out there and you're like, hey, look at me. I don't need to be able to kill anyone that's more than five feet away from me. And I like that aspect of it. And you know, if you play it right, another really, really, really fun aspect of shotgunning for me is the fact that um, you know I go out there every game I'm using a shotgun and then you have to play every game to the best of your ability uh, a lot of times I'm sure a lot of you guys are this way because chances are if you're watching YouTube videos or if you're on YouTube in general you're subscribed to a lot of people you watch a lot of Call of Duty videos things like that you know you aren't just a, an overly casual gamer does that make any sense like you probably play more Call of Duty than the average person I would say you know, you play north of 10 hours a week, somewhere in, somewhere in that frame. Uh, how many of you, like, you have one of those longer play sessions you're on for, like, two, three hours, and then you kind of just stop paying attention, you're, you know, you're all of a sudden, your shot's not exactly on, you know, you're, um, 
you're running stupid routes, you're dying a lot more. It's just because you've been playing so long and you've played so much Call of Duty that, you know, you don't go hard every game. You don't pay attention to, you know, 110% every game. And uh, it's uh, you suffer because of it. The thing about shotgunning, if you get in that effect, you get in that sluggish kind of a slump effect of like just playing too much and you're kind of bored, you're not really paying attention, you're just kind of just sitting there talking to your friends, you're going to do horrible. Because to do well with a shotgun, you have to be paying attention 110%. You have to be constantly thinking about what you're doing, where you're going. Because you got to remember, you're not killing anyone within five. that's not within 5 or 10 feet of you, right? You need to constantly think and constantly put yourself in the most advantageous position to suit your weapon. Which... That doesn't really, that can't really be said about submachine guns or assault rifles. Now, obviously, you're not going to be sniping people with SMGs unless it's the MP7 and the Moment for 3. You're not going to be sniping people with your SMGs, but think about it. You know, you still have the, all the power of a close to a medium range gun. Assault rifles can take out anyone at any range. They just kind of lack the, uh, a lot of them lack the fire rate that, say, a submachine gun would. So you, you can use those guns, and you don't really have to think as much. Using a shotgun, you have to be thinking. You have to be moving. You have to have an idea of where you're at. Like right now, look at the position I'm on. The, on I am on the map right now. They're at the A flag. The A flag is a very wide open area, and it's pretty ridiculous. So the hard part about using a shotgun right now is kind of figuring out to myself, you know, where would be the most advantageous position for me and my shotgun to run. And I know this because I've played so much Black Ops. I know that it's the left side of the map. And I actually blew up the guy's RC car by throwing a grenade. That was pretty cool. See, right here, by these barrels, and by or not by the barrels, but by this crate, I take that's close range engagements, and I come in here in this building. Then you gotta constantly duck behind cover like I am right now and try and get up behind people and get inside this building. Everywhere I'm going, I'm staying like, I'm trying to get into a, um, you know, a close range encounter. I mean, obviously, I die. But, you know, you have to think so much. You're constantly ducking behind cover. You're running around. You're moving. And it's a really fun aspect of Call of Duty that I don't think a lot of people um, necessarily pay attention to. And I think the, re I think the reason a lot of people, um, they don't shotgun as much and the games they do shotgun in are Infinity War games. is because Infinity War shotgunning, to me, is just kind of way too easy. Now, think if you think back to Call of Duty 4, Call of Duty 4 shotgun was actually really difficult. The W1200 was horrendous. It really was. That Winchester was horrible. It was. It was, it was bad. The M1014 was okay. It wasn't amazing, though. I mean, the shotguns in COD 4 were just... They weren't overly. They weren't really that good. I mean, they were actually some of the worst in the game. Then World of War. World of War's trench gun was by far the worst shotgun in any Call of Duty. Like, oh my lord, that thing was horrible. Like, okay, for those of you, a lot of shot, a lot of, a lot of different shotgun shells. When you shoot, it's a, it shoots the shell, and the shell kind of explodes, and uh, BBs come out, kind of like um, just kind of popping out and taking out a bunch of people, right? A bunch of BBs come out. The trench gun shot like one individual BB. Every every time you shot, like it was the worst, like it was the most inconsistent, but had no range. It was horrible. But the double barrel in World of War was pretty good. I'd almost compare the double barrel in World of War to the uh, Olympia here in Black Ops. I think they, I mean, they obviously look 110% different, but I think they function pretty much the same, like different range or the same range, uh, things like that. So I think it. Um, Overall, I think they're about the same gun. But when Mom for Two came out, all of a sudden, everyone their mom's a shotgun fan, right? Does that make any sense? Like everyone's like, "Oh boy, Mom for Two shotgun secondary is," and every shotgun had like just ridiculous range as, as compared to other Call of Duties, not compared to you know real life shotgun. But as compared to other Call of Duties, Mom for Two shotguns were ridiculous, and everyone was just using them. And then uh, someone like me that's been using shotguns consistently in every Call of Duty, that that just kind of turned me off. I'm like, wow. I mean, it's no no longer no longer do I feel good about myself for doing well with a shotgun because everyone can do well with shotguns in this game. It doesn't really take any thinking or strategy. It's just kind of, you know, running around and have this amazing overpowered, like, a all fully automatic A-12 or, you know, these Akimbo Rangers. I mean, it's fun to run around with a double barrel. Double barrels are probably my favorite shotguns in the Call of Duty series, uh, with pump-action shotguns being a second, uh, taking the back seat to that. But um, Akimbo double barrels, woo, just run around with them. And then, obviously, Marathon Lightweight Unlimited Sprint and... All that good stuff, and it just really it took the fun out of shotgunning for me. But when Black Ops came out, Black Ops, I liked it. The shotguns were not nearly as powerful as in Mulfer 2, which I really, really enjoyed that aspect of it. And uh, I had fun with it again. I had fun with it in the sense that, you know, I felt, you know, when you do what, when you get a good game with a shotgun, you're like, yeah, man, I just did that. That's sweet, you know. Um, I mean, how many times do you run around, like, on Skid Row, for example, Mulfer 2, and you just run around with an A12 or a Spaz 12, and you just go out there and you don't even think about it because it's so easy to do. But um, running around with Olympia, running around with a stake out in Black Ops, I, that, now that's pretty difficult. And doing consistently well with it, that's pretty difficult. Then Mall for 3. Mall for 3 shotguns I actually kind of like. Um, I don't know, man. I like the KSG. I like the Spaz. The Striker's ridiculous. 
A12 is horrendous, which I like it because it's horrendous. Yeah, USAS is kind of overpowered in my opinion. But a final score is 65 and 6. And if you guys let me know in the comment section below, the question I'd like to ask you all, what for, what other Call of Duty shotguns would you like to see in Black Ops 2? Like, would you like to see the shotguns mimic that of COD 4, World of War, Black Ops, Mon for 2, or Mon for 3? Let me know in the comment section below. Remember to the video. And I hope you guys all enjoyed the shotgun video. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.